Hi, my name is Denise. I want to welcome you to today's Bernina Creative Studio lesson. Today we're going to make this really cute table runner using a, a 60 degree triangle. This triangle is made by Good Measure and all Good Measure rulers are made to work together. They were created by Kay England. We're going to use 18 different 10 inch squares to create these triangles and put this table runner together. We're going to use a rotary mat that rotates. Today I'm using the OFA 12 inch rotary mat to cut our triangles on. I'm just going to lay that triangle ruler right on top of it and we're going to use it at its full size. So you're going to put a little pressure on it, cut one side, turn your mat around, cut the other side, turn it again, and you don't have to reposition your ruler to cut your triangle. We'll be working with bias edges today on these triangles. Two of the edges have a uh, bias edge and one has a straight of the grain. This straight of the grain edge, I want to make sure I keep that on the outside edge of the uh, table runner to make sure it lies nice and flat. When you have all 18 of your triangles cut, you're going to identify the straight of the grain and make sure that's on the outside edges. Then you're just going to lay them out in the way you want to stitch them together, and then you're just going to fold each one over in order to stitch. Now this is a bias, two bias edges we're stitching together. So we're going to use foot 97D and the dual feet. So be sure you engage your dual feet. When you look at the foot, you see that there's an, an edge and that's a quarter of an inch away. There's also markings for where the needle is and a quarter of an inch in front and a quarter behind. But there's a little marking on the stitch plate right here, right through the middle of the feed dog. That is your quarter of an inch seam. You wanna make sure you can see that little notch all the time while you stitch. So let's put a couple of pins in here. And we're just going to stitch them together. So with it ready to stitch, you're going to line everything up. And then if you have your securing function activated on your machine, it will secure. Pull your pins out. and use your cutter, and your first two blocks are stitched together. Continue stitching them together, making sure those straight of the grains are on the outside edge. So as you work down your row, connecting all nine of your uh, triangles together, you'll notice that the little dog ear that, stands at, that hangs out the outside edge, you wanna make sure that you're lining those triangles up together, attaching those little dog ears together. Don't trim them off until you're finished. This helps you with the placement of the blocks as you continue down the row. So let's stitch this last one on and then we're ready to stitch the rows together. When you get all nine of your uh, triangles sewn together, you're gonna wanna press that seam open. That's gonna reduce some of the bulk where all these seams come together. So what we're gonna to do to get that perfect point so you have all of those points lining up in the middle, we're gonna take that first layer and we're gonna find the center of the point. So you're gonna press a pin through and find the center of that, or the very tip of that point. Then you're going to bring the bottom row up and put it right in that point also on the next layer. Then you're going to squeeze them together. Then you're going to put a pin on each side of that pin. Keeping it straight through so those points will line up. Then pull that pin out and then we're ready to take it to the machine and stitch. So as you're stitching along, you're going to watch and make sure you can see that little line on the stitch plate, and you're going to just sew that seam. When you get close to the pins, you're going to stitch right up close to it. Pull that pin out, stitch right across, pull the other pin out before you get to it.
And let's see how our point did. That looks pretty good. After you've got your rows sewn together, it's time to layer it so you're ready to get quilting on it. You wanna make sure you lay the backing down and then the batting and then the piece top. I'm using Insel Bright batting in this uh, table runner just in case you have something warm you wanna set down on the table. This will help protect your table. When you get ready to quilt, you need to decide how you wanna quilt it. Do you wanna use a walking foot and do straight line quilting? Would you like to use an open toe foot and maybe do something small or uh, free motion type quilting. Then we have a uh, clear foot that is a free motion quilting foot that you could use and you can see exactly where you're going. And then we have our ruler work foot. So if you wanted to do ruler work on your quilt, on your small table runner, you could do that too. With your table runner all quilted, it's time to trim it up. So we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna trim one quarter of an inch from that point on that triangle. On the Good Measure ruler sets a pink line, so I'm gonna lay it right down on it, keeping it all lined up, and I'm gonna trim one quarter of an inch away from that line. And you'll want to trim all the way around your table runner. When you get that done, I've bound mine with a really narrow two inch wide binding. So I've cut my binding two inch wide and I've created a strip then you're just going to lay it on the front of the of the table runner, stitch a quarter of an inch, which will take you right through that point at the top, and then you'll have just enough to turn around and stitch it on the back. I hope you've enjoyed making this table runner today, and thank you so much for joining us for this lesson at Bernina Creative Studio.